What's up, everybody? The Yankee Marshall right now, who is, he's pretty much my, my guilty pleasure on YouTube at the moment, has a video up right now about making your first YouTube gun video and to not be discouraged when you compare yourself to other YouTube gun channels. Now, what the Yankee Marshall has asked people to do, and now I'm not, I'm not of the level of some of those other guys, but, you know, I have, I have moderate to low popularity on in the gun community, for lack of a better term, and I wanted to participate in this, and the idea is to share your first gun video to demonstrate to people that we don't always start out doing really, really well. I'm going to post this as a video response to, to Yankee Marshall, and also uh, share real quick a re-upload of my first gun-related video. You'll see a bunch of funny little things on it, and um, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, I look back on that time. It was really good. And for me, as I'm recording this, it was almost uh, three, almost four years ago when I made the video. And it's really, uh, it's really a fun little thing. But the idea is to, to show that not everybody starts out 100% on top or starts out being able to speak easily or anything else on camera. It comes with time. And I would hate to, to see anybody who can be putting up really good content or just, just getting up there and expressing themselves be discouraged because the video doesn't turn out the way that you would like it to. We've all been there. Uh, w when we first start out, we see other videos that have a high level of production. We want to duplicate that level of production. Well, anyway, <laughs> without further ado, and to make a long story short, here is my first gun-related video. Another segment of Gear Adrift is gear owned by other people. Um, consider firearms. Let's say you live in an area where you can't have one, or let's say that for some reason you just don't want one right now. Maybe you can't afford one. Um, maybe you're not sure if you want to get into that aspect. Gear owned by other people. Your friend has a uh, pistol, for example. Ask him about it. Don't, don't necessarily wait for uh, for them to bring it up, safety checked. Nothing in the chamber. No rounds in the magazine. Um, you don't have to wait for them to bring it up. If you're interested in going shooting, ask them to take you. Um, plunk down a couple bucks, buy some ammunition, and and see what's up. Also, if if you know somebody with a particular type of firearm, like for example, um, let's say I don't own this 1911. I have other firearms, but I just don't happen to own a 45. I actually borrowed this particular item of gear in order to shoot, and it really wasn't a big deal. It's things like that, gear like that, that you never know until you ask. And don't be afraid to ask, uh, especially with the with the gun culture people. We like it. We like to talk about them. <laughs> don't be afraid to ask us about them. Don't be afraid to ask to shoot them. Um, and if you have a question, please, gosh, ask. And uh, don't be afraid to borrow gear, especially if you're just going to see if you're into something. If you want to see for yourself that if a 45 has a super hard recoil or if you want to see for yourself if uh, if uh, a tent is fun to sleep in overnight borrow the gear it's not a big deal always just keep an eye out for that gear adrift thanks for watching we'll see y'all later